Well, riding the rumour mill can be a tricky business because, as the saying goes, mud sticks. A new study by the University of Western Australia has found that once it's been heard, false or misinformation can never be erased from memory, even after it's been corrected. Ulrich Ecker from the University of Western Australia joins me now. Ulrich Ecker, you used the news to put students to the test. What did you find? Hi, and uh, thanks for having me on the show. Yes, uh, what we find is that we give um, people news reports uh, containing information that is later on corrected or retracted, OK? So you might read a report about a crime investigation where, you know, Jim killed Jane. Later on you're told that's actually not true, but people continue to use this misinformation, as we call it, uh, in their reasoning. So even if they understand and believe the retraction or the correction, they will still continue to use uh, this outdated or corrected misinformation in their reasoning. So it is true to an extent that mud does stick. And do those results surprise you? Um, well, we've, we've run many studies. It's a very robust uh, effect. It is surprising to an extent, especially because um, it also happens with completely neutral information where, you know, you don't have any a priori belief or, or uh, 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 what's the word? Um, any motivation to believe a certain piece of information. You're just told, given a fact, then you're told it's wrong, but you still continue to, to rely on this information. Well, misinformation isn't always lies or deliberate or malicious, is it? No, well, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I mean, uh, what we look at is typically pieces of information that are just given to you in an unfolding news event. Um, but if there is the intent to mislead, uh, the, the effect still happens. If you are suspicious about the source of the misinformation, uh, you will have, you know, it, it will be easier for you to let go of the misinformation. But it, generally speaking, doesn't doesn't matter if you're uh, intentionally misled or if it just happens to be the way that things are reported in the world. Does that also mean for people with strong personal beliefs, you're really never going to change their mind? That's one thing we have looked at, and yes, it's true. If, if you have a belief, if you believe in something, this belief is very central to your identity, uh, you're going to have a very hard time convincing that person uh, that their belief is wrong. Generally, we want to protect our identity, and if there's something we strongly believe in, then it will take a lot of evidence to convince us otherwise. So uh, there's a lot of debate about climate change these days. One thing we have looked at is that people who strongly believe that humans don't cause climate change, and these people are mainly people who believe in free market ideology, who think there should be free markets with no regulations. Um, you can present them with all the scientific evidence in the world. They will continue to believe that humans are not causing climate change. If you look at the scientific literature, there's actually no debate. Uh, 97 out of 100 climate scientists um, say, look, humans are causing climate change. It's seen as a fact in the scientific community. But if you believe in free markets and if that's very central to your identity, all the scientific evidence in the world is not going to change your belief. Uruk Eka, thank you. Thanks very much.